Hello everyone, Joe here. After putting some games list from other dark fantasy RPG genre, I realized I haven't made a single Metroidvania games list. I mean, there are maybe some of you who are a big fan of Castlevania or Metroid games, so I decided to make this list. Please note that I don't put any original Castlevania games or Metroid because it's already obvious. If you haven't played those games already, then by any means, please play it. Alright then, let's get started. Eterna Noctis is a beautiful and tough as nails Metroidvania style platformer developed by Eternum Game Studios. Featuring a sprawling and varied world, difficult platforming challenges, and gorgeous art direction, Eterna Noctis will be just what fans of games like 2D Castlevania entries have been looking for. One thing to note early on is that Eterna Noctis certainly doesn't pull its punches, but if you are a hardcore gamer, this game is probably what you're looking for. At its core, Record of Lotus War is what you expect from a Metroidvania with a map that you fill out as you discover new rooms and fight a large selection of mythical monsters. The storytelling and world design is not the best thing you could hope for, but it manages to bring the mysterious vibes of the world thus making exploration enjoyable. Unfortunately, the most disappointing aspect is that it's quite short, but nevertheless it is still an enjoyable Metroidvania experience. It's hard to believe that such a content-rich, well-polished title could be the product of one man's hard work. Aside from the incredible orchestral soundtrack and voiceovers, creator Dean Dodrill is responsible for every aspect of this. Sure, the RPG elements could have been stronger and the boss battles are a bit of a letdown, but if those are the worst things about your game, then you're in pretty good shape. Despite the game is already old now, but it still gives you the enjoyable satisfaction. Forge in Saddle Torch is a stellar Metroidvania adventure set in a beautifully realized world, replete with challenging combat encounters, rewarding exploration, and some spicy platforming action. It's a world that is fascinating to behold, a cold, cream, metallic slum inhabited by humanoid animals that affectionately refer to each other as fertizens rather than citizens. The tale isn't groundbreaking by any means, but the flesh versus machine narrative is expertly complemented by the striking visual style of Torch City, and it makes for a compelling playground. Blasphemous is a beautifully crafted Souls-like Metroidvania action game set in a dark world filled with well-designed enemies, satisfying combat, and some truly memorable boss battles. Platforming sections are well-crafted, and the whole thing comes together to create one of the most visually arresting and solid action titles. The story is a much more easy-to-follow affair than you may be expecting on the outset of things, although the world is filled with strange secrets, sad stories, and bizarre characters. If you are a fan of Souls-like and Metroidvania, this game is definitely a must-play. Death's Gambit is a 2D Souls-like action RPG with Metroidvania elements. Death's Gambit Afterlife is essentially an expansion of the original game that nearly triples its size and includes a wealth of alterations to streamline the title further. There is much to uncover throughout Death's Gambit Afterlife, and the areas to explore are lengthy. The level of challenge here is extremely high, but the sense of accomplishment from playing the game and overcoming it is totally worth it. Vigil The Longest Night is a 2D Metroidvania game that is inspired by Castlevania and Salt and Sanctuary. So, when it comes to level design, expect that there are hidden paths, countless secrets, and a whole lot of exploring. 
despite having no voiceovers during interaction with NPCs and a lack of detail towards some points of the story, the setting of the game is absolutely stunning to look at. Not only that, boss battles are epic and challenging. Every single boss is different when it comes to its behavior and it pushes you to analyze its moves and weaknesses. Basically, if you're looking to play a 2D metroidvania game like South and Sanctuary but haven't found one, then you might want to check this game out. Ender Lily's Quietus of the Nikes is a strong take on the genre with a heavy focus on mood and tone above all else. It's a tale with visuals and audio to match, but make no mistake, it's also full of challenging combat and vicious boss characters. All of this is held together by strong gameplay, with a particular focus on customizable loadouts via the spirit abilities. It's a tough game at times, but this is an experience that you will be glad to try out. Toho Luna Nike's setup is quite fascinating, where the protagonist is a maid. The game pokes fun of Metroidvania design convention that many of us have taken for granted as being completely normal. It doesn't necessarily offer anything remarkably new, but what it does provide is fun and engaging nonetheless. The enemies and boss battles are exciting and match perfectly with the smooth combat system. Toho Luna Nikes is one of those video game experiences that feels familiar but is executed so well that you can't help but enjoy what it offers. Grime takes influence from more genres than most games and succeeds at combining them into a cohesive game. It combines the exploration and progression systems of a metroidvania with the RPG and combat elements of a Souls-like. It also throws in some precision platforming and monster collecting mechanics from the likes of Castlevania. The few frustrations it presents are mostly overshadowed by the quality of the main attractions, its boss fights, music, and traversal. Overall, Grime is worth every second of your time. Ori and the Will of the Wisp is not just a great sequel, in many ways it outdoes its predecessor. The addition of more customization options, a greater focus on combat, and a better developed story allows the sequel to outshine the original. One aspect that is extremely noticeable is the shift in gameplay focus. While at the game's core it is still a metroidvania game like its predecessor, it is a much more linear experience this time around. But nevertheless, Ori and the Will of the Wisp is a must-buy for anyone, even for those who are just likely interested. You could call Salt and Sanctuary a 2D mashup of Dark Souls and Castlevania, and you are right. But such a simple pronouncement will be a disservice to the tremendous amount of thought that's gone into Salt and Sanctuary. Salt and Sanctuary's mimicry is born out of love, and it pulls it off with a flair that could come only from a team who understand the genre very well, resulting in a stellar adventure with enough moments of surprise and excitement to rival even its own source material. The thriving subgenre of Metroidvania games exists to try to recreate the magic of classic Metroidvania and Castlevania games. Bloodstained Ritual of the Nike achieves this goal better than most because it plays and feels almost exactly like the legendary Castlevania Symphony of the Nike. Exploring the castle's many secrets is a delight, and there's a dizzying array of weapons and powers waiting to be bent to your will. Overall, this spiritual successor to Castlevania is a must play, especially for the longtime fans. Nowadays, every new game is always trying to push things forward with innovation. But Hollow Knight is not one of those games. 
it doesn't do anything new, but instead refines the gameplay to perfection. Solid combat, well-balanced level design and progression lays with a fantastical degree of artistic focus, and the result is one of the best Metroidvanias that's available on the market. Dead Cells has a robust DNA. This is an action roguelike with Castlevania's intricate environments combined with Dark Souls vibe and sense of risk. There is dozens if not hundreds of hours of content available here, and though some sense of repetition can creep in every now and then, it's remarkable how fresh Dead Cells can stay through all those hours. The game is a blast to play, full of visual splendor and packed with things to do. In short, it's a must-buy for any fans of the genre or even newcomers. Alright boys, I think that's it for today. Please let me know if there are some Metroidvania games that probably deserve the spot in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss another great list. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Peace.